in the 36 hour fast, what I want you to know is that that is the perfect time, the absolute perfect time to get your body to go and find the glucose, the toxins, the hormones that it stored years ago in fat. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, for those of you that are struggling to lose weight, this is the magic fast. So I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna show you the study behind why this fast is key for losing weight. I'm gonna talk about how do you prepare for this fast, and how do you break the fast, and of course, how women should do it. So this is a three-part series on weight loss and fasting. For those of you especially that are struggling to lose weight, Using fasting as a tool, you're gonna to wanna to listen to this video. And if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I am on a mission to change the trajectory of chronic disease through the art of fasting. And guess what I have on my hands? This just actually came this weekend, my galley copy of Fast Like a Girl. It's gonna be in your hands soon, so you can pre-order this. I'm really excited. And in this video, I'm actually gonna read from it. So get ready, really excited. Lots of great information here for you, so welcome. So Fast Like a Girl, it's ready for pre-order now. I hope this book changes your life the way the information has changed hundreds of thousands of women that have applied it. From the bottom of my heart, enjoy, and let's get healthy together. What I wanna talk about is the power of this 36 hour fast. Um, in Fast Like a Girl, what I do is I lay out six different fasts. And, and the chapter where I lay out these six different fasts, I spent a lot of time, the editor and I, on making sure that we got you the right science, that we explained it to you very clearly, um, and that not only can you understand it, but that if you have people around you that are like, why are you fasting? Or some of you that are health practitioners and you're like, okay, I want my patients to fast, but I don't wanna go into all the details. It's all written out in this book. So really excited to get it to you. In the 36 hour fast, what I want you to know is that that is the perfect time, the absolute perfect time to get your body to go and find the glucose, the toxins, the hormones that it stored years ago in fat. And let me explain why. So remember that we've got this sugar burner, fat burner system, okay? And in my academy, we do this all the time. This is the way we say goodbye to each other on the Zoom calls. So if you're like, what is this crazy lady doing? Um, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. When we eat, we're accessing food from our sugar burner metabolism. So when you eat things that are really sugary, when you eat things that are really in, high in toxic oils, you take your blood sugar to a really high level. It's gonna take some time for that blood sugar to come down so that you can switch over into the fat burning mode. So this is why I wanna do a whole video. The next video will be specifically on how do you work with this sugar burner system so we can get you over to fat burner as fast as possible. But for this video, I want you to understand why this 36 hours works so magically. So let's say you eat, let's, I'm gonna say we eat like a steak and, some, and a sweet potato, that's my favorite, and some, and some salad for dinner and you stop eating at six o'clock at night. That starts the clock of your blood sugar coming down. With a good meal like that, within about eight hours, your body is starting to make this switch over into fat bur the fat burner metabolism. Now you're over here in fat burner at eight hours. You're not gonna see it on your, on your ketone reader probably till about 12 or 13 hours. But what we start to, it takes about somewhere between eight to 13 hours to get you over here into fat burning. So now, boom, you're there 13 hours, 15 hour of fasting and you're in that fat burner system. And now your body's going, okay, we're not sensing that any glucose is coming in. We're not sensing any food is coming in. So we better make some ketones by burning fat. So now you're at like hour 16, you're at hour 17, and the body is going, okay, I'm gonna burn fat, I'm gonna burn fat because I stored stuff there years ago, so I'm gonna use this for this moment. And so it burns that. Now at 20 hours, you're burning fat, 24 hours, you're burning fat. You're hopping on the scale, you're like, I don't see any fat burning. You're looking at your ketones, you're like, I don't see any ketone production. We've seen this happen over and over again at somewhere around 2024. But if you hang in there long enough, 
what we find is about 36 hours is where it's just the right amount of time for the body to get to grab onto the idea that no food is coming and it better burn some fat for fuel. And so some of you, this is happening at 17 hours. So if you're, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh yeah, I get ketones at 17, I can lose weight with a 24. Amazing, I love that. This video is for those of you that are really struggling with weight loss and your fasting's not doing it for you. What I love about the 36 hour fast is it's enough time to really force, it's, it's, and I'm gonna say lovingly force the body into burning the fat that you hate so for energy so it starts to prime that fat burning system. The 36 hour fast is not a fast that you've gotta do every week. You can, I've seen people do it every week to be able to really accelerate their weight loss results. But if you're on a trajectory of like, I wanna lose weight, I wanna lose weight, we gotta get you dipped into these 36 hour fasts every once in a while because it's you need that amount of time in your fat burning window to be able to train the body to start burning that fat more efficiently. So let me know if that, if that makes sense because a lot of you throw the 15 hour fast, which is great, it's an intermittent fast, but it's not long enough to burn fat for you. Some of you throw the 24 hour, I call it the gut reset fast. We did that last year for, or last month for fast training week. That may also not be long enough, but the 36 hour fast is where the magic starts to happen. And so there were several studies. I'm gonna read the one that I put in Fast Like a Girl. Um, but before I do that, I want you to know that I recently brought Megan Ramos onto the Resetter podcast. And she talked about how the fasting movement was really born in the clinic that she was working in, which is Dr. Jason Fung's clinic, which started this whole trajectory of fasting for weight loss. And she, Jason and, and Megan strongly feel that it's at the 36 hour that we really start to see a change in insulin resistance. In fact, they don't even believe in the in the less the fasts that are shorter period of time. They strongly feel like if you are really sick, if you are really weight loss resistant, if you have a lot of insulin resistance, you need to go over into those 36 hours and beyond to force the body to make to burn that fat that you so desperately want to let go of. Last thing before I read from the book is that I want you also to realize that it is the 36 hour fast is like a switch. So once your body goes, oh, I get it. No food is coming in. So I'm gonna go burn the fat I stored years ago. And it does that at 36 hours. Now it's primed that system. So the next 15 hour fast you throw at it, the next 24 hour fast is gonna be more efficient at burning fat and getting you a better weight loss result. So let me know if that understand if you understand that because that's super super important. Okay, here's the oh, here's what I want to read and I actually marked in the book which I got to tell you that was like a little hard to mark in my own book there for a moment my first book ever brought to or ever sent to me on for this book. Okay, here we go. A cell metabolism study was published in 2019 looking at the power of a 36 hour fast followed by 12 hours of eating window. So that's what they did. They did 36 hours of fasting and then a 12 hour eating window. That's a little different combination. Um, it's a style of fasting that's often referred to as alternate day fasting. In this particular study was a very, very large study. It was one of the largest of its kind. And when subjects, subjects followed an alternate day fasting regime for 30 days, okay? I'm giving you the magic here. So it's 36 hours of fasting followed by 12 hour eating window. 36 hours of fasting followed by 12 hour eating window. That's for 30 days. That's what this study was, was done. And what they found was that ketone production can, continued the whole 30 days they were in ketosis, largely because they spent so much time fasting, I'm sure, even though they ate in a 12 hour eating window. So think about that for a moment. They fasted for 36 hours, they ate for 12 hours, and then they fasted for 36 hours, they did that for 30 days and they stayed in ketosis the whole time, meaning they were really in that fat burning place. That's a heck of a great tool for you, those of you that are looking to lose weight. What about trying that? I mean, that would be really a big dive into going after weight loss. 
and then I'll continue on here. They also saw, it wasn't just weight loss they saw in this study, they saw a reduction in cholesterol and inflammation with the alternate day fasting. Um, and what was really exciting, probably the most exciting part and why I put it in the book was that most of the fat loss, are you ready for this? Those of you who are like, how do I target fast fat loss? Most of the fat loss was happening around the belly. <sighs> okay. Can you see why we love the 36 hour fast? Not only are you training your body to burn, be a better fat burner and more efficient, but if you follow that protocol, that 30 day protocol in there, you are really looking at a massive, uh, incredible approach to losing weight. So, and I know a lot of you are come to fasting for weight loss. What I also love about that study is that it really shows that we can bring inflammation down and that we can bring cholesterol down without medication. That was just from fasting. Cell metabolism, pretty cool, pretty cool study. So I got a lot of studies in Fast Like a Girl. So if you haven't pre-ordered the book, go ahead and pre-order the book. Uh, just put Fast Like a Girl in your comments and my team will send you a link. Um, if Here's what I want to know from you all. Have you done this style of fasting, 36 hours? Have you done it like that? Because if you have, um, I wanna know your results. Has anybody done, tried to repeat that cell metabolism study? That was 36 hours on, 12 hours of eating. Curious your results. Tell it in the comments so everybody can learn. This is Fast Training Week and we are doing the 36 hour fast. It is the, the, the fourth fast that I lay out in Fast Like a Girl. It's got incredible research. Can't wait to share, to share it with you. But as always, with all of our Fast Training Weeks, you can get the companion guide that lays out everything you need to know, how to do, a, a, what, you, what to do during this Fast Training Week. Also, all the resources that might be helpful for you as you're going into, this is a longer fast. So we got a lot of hacks and tips that are, is, that's in that companion guide. So just put companion guide in your comments and my team will send you a link. And uh, yeah, ready for pre-order. Let me know if you pre-ordered it. Literally my heart and soul went into this and I now send it out into the universe to you. So as always, I hope it helps.